Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Propaganda Cast Tactical Highlight with me, your host, Imperial Dane. Here a bit after a while, there's going to have nothing much to highlight because I haven't been able to play much, but I thought this match rather had some elements there, so you know, some tactical elements with which to highlight. This will be a sort of a two part. first one, so we need smaller. Early, actually, in game engagement again, there's the British, you know, usually rather tough to get out, sticky and all that, but. With the power of a bit of smoke and flanking, all of a sudden things can become a lot easier instead of dealing with this rather entrenched British position. Even a single machine, of course, can quickly be dealt with them. And I always say, you know, use smoke, use smoke, and hopefully this will sort of highlight just, you know, how useful it is. Basically, just sort of highlight. And so this straight, the assault will take two parts here, one here, one going up through here. And in this case, also hitting the house here. While well, smoke then lands on the house there and that way I sort of try and aim for an initial advantage. Now let's actually see it in practice. Oops, hang on. There we go. Recording program is a bit sticky for that occasion, but there we go. Smoke screens landing there on the MD42. Gunner is moving forward. Other gunners got moving up to cover the other element here on the side, essentially. Sappers with flame first has gone for mobile assault and violent opponent. And there you go, Parnese into a further sort of causing it again problems, havoc and just Catching him in a sticky situation here. Modify landing on the Sabs gun. It's not Pioneers, I think, rushing here towards the church and nine to my opponent. Maybe not actually falling back in this case. Could have done it. Either way. Almost getting the Sabs there. That's not what matters again. What matters is basically already in a massive of moments. I've completely struck my opponent. I've launched an assault way, wasn't expecting it. Under cover of smoke. Already routed one unit and now occupying a sort of rather central position here. We actually struggles to deal with what I'm doing. Again, I have changed the field of engagement, if you will. Or well, the battlefield, I think it makes more sense. You can see we're trying to start again. I've occupied all of a sudden good housing. And again, I've managed to render this machine gun a lot less powerful, which again rather gives me the advantage. And in this case, I actually end up wiping it. So overall, I was able to secure a very vital position here sort of for the map, which allows me to gain good control here. Stolen a machine gun from him. And yeah, overall, just be a really, really big nuisance. Obviously, man to push through here, go for my cough point, but I'll be going for this cough point as well. But overall, with this, I've gained a bit of an edge. As you might have noticed, there again, I'm now controlling very good positions. I've got a lot more machine guns than he does. While he's going for a snub, that will certainly struggle a bit to have an impact. Plus, I'm going to lead on mines here. So. That was sort of the first part. Second part was sort of show a large engagement again, utilizing some of the same rules again. You're trying to attack from numerous points using other sort of supporting elements. And here we are at the second sort of uh, point here again. We sort of got a big engagement. Our opponent this time, you know, has brought up armor. He's still holding some map, but thanks again to the early engagement act to Gala. We've been able to contain him quite neatly within this part of the map. He's not really able to push up because, again, I've been able to gain a resource advantage. Just sort of keep him on the defensive. Thanks to just that again, initial push, that initial disruption rather gave me an edge. And I've just been able to sort of keep him sort of penned in using the scout cars. And now adding a panther point to the mix. I'm basically sort of planning a sort of uh, bigger assault. And basically, sort of to sort of summarize it, basically sort of involves tournament scout cars in the south here will push northwards. Through here, sort of get behind the lines here, while the Panzer IV with support will here push from the north towards the south. That way, I will basically sort of try to capture his units here in a bit of a pincer maneuver. In this case, there's a disrupting element, though, in the form of the commandos hitting my mortar crew. Of course, the machine gun sort of trying that way, you know, push forwards all under cover of the mortar. If necessary, I can also cool down smoke if need be here on the supporting elements of his. In this case, there's a bit of a disruption, of course, as all good plans can encounter some issues. In this case, he's counterattacking himself north, encountering my northern assault force here as it sort of gets ready to push ahead. So obviously I have to deal with that first. It also alerts his Cromwell to the presence of my Panzer IV and of course the six pounder gun. So in that regard, a few challenges arrived. Of course, I also got stormed with those with just that added element. So let's go ahead and see what actually happens here. We've got the sappers section there charging forces the Panzer IV. Obviously in this case, that's not working out too well. This is where we're a very strong force in the north there. Tactically very sound formation. Got the Cromwell in, six pounder gun supporting through the south here to the two setting about. And we start at the Pioneer's alternator support here. Because their mortar wipe though, that have lost me the nice my vital mortar support. Panther 4 trying to maneuver about this, but there goes Storm arriving quickly, flanking the 
and to tank them with a bomb grenade. Meanwhile, the two to two still go over that part of the plan, even as it gets the northern part has this plan disrupted. Going in there, two to two's rolling in. Stormtroopers going straight for the anti tank gun to deny to my opponent. And before a machine gun, they're dealing with the sappers and the section there lost the machine gun to a commander assault, which collapsed the church with him before he in it. Cromwell there taking heavy damage, Pantomime is back down. Two to two's actually penetrating the rear of the uh, Cromwell there several times. Section almost wiped out. Commandos pushing back the Stormtroopers, wiping the Vickers. But it's not got a lot left yet. It's got a second commander scrolled out here. Two to two goes down. Getting a bit chaotic here. Panzer IV though shoots and collapses the house with the commanders in it. Mines there cleared up. One of the previous laid down in case we're out on the car. And there we go. Another 2 to 2 down. The Cromwell is almost also down. Six pounding down there with Panzer IV going in after it. Wanting to knock it out for the fatherland. Her capture point is being overrun. Stug going away. And there we go. Cromwell kaput. HQ is under attack. Cromwell Typical kaput. And with that, uh, victory, I would say, has rather been assured. As you might have noticed, my opponent all of a sudden has very little left. I've got the armor out, i got more on the way. And there we go, Commander Swipe, I'm controlling all the vital points. And there we go, that is the end of the match. Again, sort of a bit of a tax behind again, just highlighting your account. Very powerful is where you just set up for a good assault ahead of time. A bit of planning, a good flank can do an awful lot to your opponent. And again, it's not something that's going to take a lot of time to set up. They're just, you know, even a lot of thought. It's just, you know, all right, these two points, for example, have rather linchpins in their sense. You're good flank spots. You sort of attack through there and again, try to time it as well as you can. Maybe keep some supporting elements there and then sort of, if possible, a third attack from here to the full up. And that way, you can actually end up doing a lot of damage to your opponent. Even there in the early, early moments of the game, again, just that smoke screen on the machine gun completely sort of pulled the cover or carpet from under a lot of his forces, allowed me to rush in there, gain a dominating position because, again, I had the plan, he had to react, and again, if you can act, your opponent has to react again, it usually gives you the edge because, again, reacting usually is at a disadvantage stage. Right there, that rather gave me quite an edge then, and again, sort of, I was able to build up on that, so... Hopefully this little video can sort of help, you know, give you some ideas on how to play the game yourself, you know, get more out of it. And of course, you know, just perform tactically better and more soundly, get more out of your armor, get more out of your infantry. And of course, remember to get more out of your mortar as you lay down smoke screen to cover up your assaults and negate whatever sort of re you really don't like. So there you go. Hopefully this video has helped you. And hash, you know, subscribe, like, share and comment on it. And of course, if you like what I do, I do consider donating. A link's in the uh, video description here. This is Imperial Nain signing off and see you all another time. Cheers.